Developing for the Xbox 360 in 2025 is possible, it's just a little complex. Now I know what you're asking, why would anyone want to develop a game for a console from 2005? Why would you do that? And to be honest, I don't know. It's just cool. And that's good enough for me. Everyone's out here developing an Unreal Engine 5 with their ray tracing, their lumen, and I'm over here with my baked in lighting. We ain't the same. We only got 512 megabytes of RAM over here. We in a drought. But that's what makes it fun, right? To develop on a console with limitations that makes you as a developer challenge yourself. So with no further ado, grab your energy drinks, grab your glasses, grab your Mountain Dew. Who drank my motherfucking Mountain Dew? And let's get into it. To get started, you're going to want to download the UDK Ultimate with the link I provide you in the description. Basically, this is Unreal Engine 3 with the ability to cook for console games like the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Also, please keep in mind to download the required dependencies, like where it says, please install the DirectX 9.0. Download it. These are requirements in order to cook your project, so we definitely need these. Do not skip them. Now that you have UDK Ultimate downloaded, go ahead and extract it to your C drive. Once UDK Ultimate is finally extracted, go ahead and open it and find the folder that says UDK Ultimate Desktop Shortcuts. Once you are in that folder, you want to run the program called UDK Game Window 64 Script Make. After that is done, you then want to run UDK Game Window 64 Game Asset Database. Now you are ready to start the editor. All you have to do is click the UDK Game Window 64 Start Editor and then it will start booting up. Please keep in mind that sometimes this takes a while, there's a decent amount of hang time, but I promise you it's loading. You may see a pop-up on your screen called Asset Database Maintenance, and basically when that comes up, if you see it, you just want to click check now. Once you are fully loaded, you will see you're in the default environment for UDK. You could work here perfectly fine, but for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and create a new level. Once you're in a new level, you will see something called brushes and under that there's a cube. Go ahead and right click that cube and then you'll see an X, Y, and Z. In the X put 1024 and then in the Y put 1024. After that, go right below it to where it says CSG and then click add. This will give us a floor that we can walk around on. Once you have created your floor, right click on your floor, then go down to add actor and then to the right, select add player start. Now in that same menu, go ahead and click add point light and then whenever your point light spawns in the world, go ahead and bring it up a little bit so it's not clipping with the floor. For this tutorial, I'm not going to go in depth with UDK as I'm still learning for myself so I wouldn't be any help in that department as I just understand the basic fundamentals of it so I really can't break down anything complex. But what I can do is I can show you where the content browser is so when we cook our game, you at least have a few custom assets that you can see on your screen. So in the top left, you'll see a binocular icon. Right next to that is your content browser. It's very small. Go ahead and click on that. Then once you are in your content browser, go ahead and go under object type and select static meshes. These are all the models that came with UDK Ultimate. All you have to do is find the model that you want to use and then drag it onto your floor. After you're done setting up your models, then you want to save your level so we can cook it. All you gotta do is go to the top left, click file, and then save as. This part is really important as for this setup, we need to make sure that we overwrite UDK UDK Ultimate. So whenever we name our level, it has to be exactly that. So just click on UDK UDK Ultimate and then click save and then overwrite that map. Now we're ready to cook our game for our 360. All we have to do is go back to the UDK Ultimate Desktop Shortcuts. 
In that folder, you need to launch Unreal Fronting Consoles. Once that is loaded, you want to make sure that you select UDK Ultimate Xbox 360 under the Start button. Then, after you do that, you'll see a big green Start button. Under that, you'll see a Start with a black down arrow. Go ahead and click on that, and then you want to Start, Full Rebuild, and Recook. Keep in mind, you're going to need to close your editor before starting this process or the process will fail. One last thing to note is that I couldn't get Neighborhood to work with UDK Ultimate. So if you see your console's IP at the bottom and it's checked, uncheck that or the cooking process will fail. If everything went according to plan, you'll see an all pipeline steps completed successfully text. Now we're ready to assemble our game. All we gotta do is go back to our main UDK Ultimate directory and then go into the folder that says UDK Game. Within that folder, you're gonna see a cooked Xbox 360 folder and you're gonna see a text file called Xbox 360 TOC. Just go ahead and copy those. Once you got that done, go ahead and go back to the main directory. Then you want to go into the folder that says UDK Game Xbox 360 Template. Within that folder, you're going to see a UDK Game folder. Go in that folder and then paste the contents you just copied. And it's okay to overwrite, that's what we want to do. So go ahead and paste that and overwrite. Congratulations, you have now just made your own Xbox 360 game ready to play. All you got to do is take that UDK Game Xbox 360 Template, put it on a USB, and then launch the default executable. Now obviously you need like some sort of modified console to run this, but I assume you already know that. Well there you go. That's how you make an Xbox 360 game in 2025. It's not really hard. The hardest part is actually learning UDK, learning Unreal Engine 3. That's the hardest part because you're stuck to tutorials from like 15 years ago. Hopefully this tutorial helps some people get started. I really need help, so I'm hoping there's like a community out there that knows UDK, that knows Unreal Engine 3, that could possibly help us out because I'm really struggling to even do basic stuff. I'm not gonna drag this on any longer than it has to. This is really all I had to contribute to the homebrew scene. I need to learn more before I even consider making any more videos, but I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped at least one person out there.